as we are finally here for All-Star Weekend to begin, we are here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway here for the Mopar Nationwide Series All-Star Weekend. We're going to kick things off here with the Mopar Nationwide Series All-Star Showcase Open. Now these are drivers that do not qualify or are ineligible to make the All-Star Race. And the only way they can make it into the All-Star Race is by qualifying their way in through the Open. Or by falling back on the fan vote. And that just officially closed as I look right now. Because today is Monday when I'm recording this. So that is closed and the Cup Series fan vote will end tomorrow. So if you haven't voted yet you can hurry and still vote. Probably not by the time this is out. It's probably going to be over. But anyway. I think we have 24 drivers in this field. I believe... Um, I think so. Um, but anyway, these 24 drivers are going to be battling for the transfer spots. Yes, there are two transfer spots. The first and second place will advance into the All-Star race. And then the fan vote winner will also advance. If the fan vote winner, who I do not know at all who it is, <laughs> will probably be at the end of this video whenever I actually do tally it up because I have not tallied it up at all. But if the fan vote winner does finish in the top two in this race, it will just fall back to whoever the highest in the fan votes that did not finish in the top two, basically. So, without further ado, we got 20 laps, one segment, that's all it is. Just straight up race to the finish, and whoever gets there first and second will get in, and the fan vote winner as well. So, three drivers are trying to get into the All Star race today. On the pole, we got Austin Oko in the 21. He's going to be up here alongside him is James Qualls. And I apologize for the graphics looking like absolute crap. Brody Banta, Justin Williams, row two. Ryan Acosta, Alex Jones, row three. Row four has Sam Young and Joshua Osborne. Around the top ten is Daniel Hummel and Zohar Mutton. One big story here. The point leader himself is in this race, and that's Aaron Reed. Michael Norman's also in this race up in the standings. There's a lot of drivers right there that are up in the points that are just flat out needing to win. But they're stuck here in the open, but... Without further ado, let's get the radio chatter and stuff going. Get this open, ready, and going, yeah. <laughs> and I don't think anything's going to happen. <laughs> As the blurry pace car is now going. And the field goes by, nothing is wrong with any of the cars. It's a silent, ready to go, I guess you could say. Uh, starting right here. But here's a look at your starting lineup for today's Mopar Nationwide Series All-Star Showcase Show, uh, Open. So I screwed that up bad. back live as I failed a second ago the pace car is already heading off we have black pit cones okay uh, this looks like one of Kevin's season finales at Homestead anyway as Austin Ogo and James Qualls lead him down to the green flag waiting for that flag and there's the green flag and we are racing 20 lap dash to get in the all-star races on and be aware there probably will be Rex this track has had tendencies to do that as Austin Elgo pulls out to an early jump on James Qualls, he stormed down the back straightaway for the first time today. And like I said about the fan vote, it is still up in the air. What I've seen so far, it could be a toss-up, whoever gets it. I won't lie, I have not seen one distinct name that's actually pulled away from anybody else in the fan vote right now. So it's up for grabs, as Austin Ogo will lead the first lap, but there's no points on the line. So it does not matter about leading the lap, and all that matters is being there at the end, being in the top two. As Brody Bantz is making a run in that one main financial Chevrolet on the bottom in the four car. That car won the All-Star Race last season with Corey O'Malley. So there is a lot on the line for this four team to try to back it up and win with another driver. It's huge for that team. Brody's still looking to get to victory lane for the first time. we got three wide in the back going on. They settled that pretty quickly and they're actually pretty calm so far. Brett Yates back here with points leader Aaron Reed. I believe he's points leader. I hope I'm not. I hope I'm not wrong. Brett Yates went way up the track in the 15. James McLeod back here. He needs something to happen, even if it's an open win or something. He needs to get some momentum in that 34. It's been a terrible season so far for the 
defending champion over in the Mounder Race Series. We got some three wide racing up ahead. There's the defending uh, All Stars winner in the Cup Series from last season, Mike Becker, and he's in the open in the Nationwide one. He would love to get in. Not found the victory yet for that 43 car. He's going to try to get the victory lane with that car. As we move up just a little bit, the, uh, the battle for the lead is starting to heat up. Austin Ogo still leading. James Paul has gone back up to second with breaking a run for him, but Justin Williams snuck under him right there. Alex Jones back there was in the wall. And surprisingly, it's actually been a clean and glean, uh, green race. Whoa, Ryan Acosta nosed it in there, trying to make it three wide going into turn one. That could have been disastrous. He's digging hard still for fourth on balls. Didn't get the run. And we got a battle for the lead between teammates here. Justin Williams under the 21 of Austin Ogo, the pole sitter. Alex Jones back there, I think, hit the wall. And Williams with help from Brody Banton will get the lead. Qualls, Acosta back there, or Sam Young. And Anthony McCurry's worked his way up. And Brody Banton, man, he's trying to squeeze under there. And again, really surprised they've kept this clean and green so far. Because I did this like two or three different times. I didn't touch nothing. They actually wrecked pretty bad. So I was expecting, but I guess I can have this clean race right now. And pit stops might happen too, guys. That could be a factor in this. I'm not 100% sure, but I think since it's on times four and there's 20 laps, I'm pretty sure they're going to end up finding a way to pit for some reason. And maybe someone will try to stretch it. Daniel Hummel, Chris Kyle on the bottom. And the bottom the apron back there in the 22 and the 60. The patriotic colors we have this week here at Charlotte Motor Speedway for All-Star Weekend. You're going to see a lot of that. Ooh, they're about to go three wide. Randy Carpenter on the bottom. He's uh, had a lot of good runs lately. He's been qualifying pretty bad, too, after being one of the best qualifiers in the series for quite some time. Right now, Randy's right now running in the 12th position. So this is right outside of the top 10 that's battling with these guys. So one of the other guys have kind of been shut out of victory lane that probably should have been at least a victory lane once this season. That's another one of the Joe Gibbs cars. That's Rowan at Vaderview here in the 11. He's been... A lot of opportunities for this team to win a race, just can't get the deal done. Rohit found himself here in the open, trying to race his way in, so... As it looks right now, he's not even in contention right now for a transfer spot. Back here in mid-pack. And a lot of drivers don't want to have to fall back on the fan books. You really don't know what's going to happen. And we're also going to introduce a new driver. Once again, this is Tim Walsh in this series as well. He is the new replacement for Daniel Voiles. He's here in the 77. Not really made much progress, but Tim... Welcome again to this series as well, along with his ride in the Cup Series in the 3-car. He's also in the open in that series. Tim says he's not a very popular driver, but I believe that is incorrect. I believe he will be. He could be a contender maybe for the fan vote. We'll have to wait and see. So he goes under the points leader, Aaron Reed, and the military looking paint scheme of Joshua Osborne way up on the tie side. And that camouflage looking scheme in the 81. Right now, Justin Williams still leading, though. Nothing's happened toward the front. There's Cody Lamas trying to work his way up. Michael Normans started to creep his way up. But this race has stayed clean and green as we're halfway. I mean, this is a quick little race right here we got going on. Kind of surprised, again, that the wrecks didn't happen. I don't know what's the deal, but I guess we'll just go with it. Justin Williams has a mirror full of what James Paul calls Johanna. And... Here comes the 70 trying to make a move. James Qualls is all over the back bumper of Justin Williams. His brother Aaron Williams is already in the All-Star race for the wins from this season and last season, whichever his eligibility should be, if you go either way. So Justin would like to join his brother again in the All-Star race, and he has Budweiser on the car this week. Big opportunity and a big day for the sponsorship to try to show them well. But I wouldn't count the guy on third place either. Ryan Acosta, he has not won since season one. He would love to get some kind of victory. It doesn't matter what it is. Even if it's a non-points event, Acosta just wants to win. He tried to find any ride he can get a win in, and he's just not found the right combination yet. This season, he's in the 09 car. Ironically, the guy that's passed him, or whatever, or tied, I think, in the most wins here in the series, Michael Pazzi, drove this car last season and got a couple wins. So maybe he thought he'd get the magic from Cosby's this car, I guess. But so far, nothing from this 0-9 team this season. Right now, running in the third position. And here comes Dylan Young's brother, Sam, in that 5-hour energy Toyota. Sam's running right now in solidly in the top five and fourth. Would love to get into the All-Star race along with his brother, Dylan. Same scenario as Justin Williams. And then Andy McCurry's actually emerged into the top five in that Turner Scott Motorsports Great Clip Chevrolet. 
He was a oh, we have pit stop. There we go. They do have to happen. First one is a dive down pit road. Wow, they're going really slow. Now they're speeding up. Wow, I don't know what that was about. Justin Williams, James Qualls, Roy Bayerview, Austin Ogo, Richard Johnson, and Alex Jones are the first group to come down pit road. As that gives the lead to Ryan Acosta. There's Michael Norman back there making a run, and Cody Lama is making the run to the front for the first time tonight. I believe we have more pit stop this lap. It looks like Ryan's going to be the first group. Ooh. Brody Banta had to cut down, and Anthony McCurry stays out. Oh, look at Joshua Osborne. Wow. Well, apparently these drivers don't know where the commitment line is, and Osborne obviously knew where it was. Look at the jump he just made. There was nothing wrong with what he just did, but he just gained a lot of ground, and he gained about three or four spots in the process. I believe the only car to not pit yet is Anthony McCurry. This time by before to go if he stays out, but I don't think he will. Nope, he is coming to pit road. But look how these drivers slow down. They slow down, then they speed up. I don't know. It's odd. Here's Justin Williams. He's way out by himself. The other car I'm going to be keeping an eye on is the 81 car, Joshua Osborne. So what he did, that was like a loophole he pulled. And he is way ahead of everybody. Osborne might have just made the move of the race. You can call that a Jeff Burden right there. Because it might get him to second place. He might actually be leading. There he is. Justin Williams is trying to dig to get back up there. Robert Vader viewing them as well. And Osborne, I believe, is going to be leader. There's McCurry. He can be a factor. Let's see if he gets off the road in time. There's Osborne. There's Williams. Brody Banta's back here. Don't see Ryan Acosta at all. There he is. James Qualls is also falling back. Qualls really lost ground. There's Anthony McCurry. He can't get up to speed. You don't even hear him in the throttle. And I believe this race just got thrown right into the hands of Joshua Osborne and Justin Williams. But what a move by the 81 car coming down pit road. Just completely bypassed everybody. He might not be able to hang on to win this open, but if he can just hang on to second, which he has a huge gap. Back to third place, which I believe will be uh, Brody Banta. There he is. 2.4 seconds back with three to go. I mean, just doesn't look like it's going to happen unless something happens to these top two cars. Which is Justin Williams and Joshua Osborne. And they still will probably battle it out for the win just to have bragging rights. But if these guys just stay nose to tail, they got this in the bag. And they will be in the Mopar Nationwide Series Showcase. And here comes Justin Williams to the inside for the lead. I don't know if Banta made up any ground on them. He didn't even make up a tenth. Look around. There's Chris Dollarton back there. I don't know what happened to him, but his teammate Joshua Osborne's up here battling to get in the All-Star race for his their team. Two-car operation. And Osborne's not giving up on the high side. Williams and them are staying side by side as we got the white flag this time by. One lap to go for these two drivers who look like to be a sure lock into the All-Star race. Osborne's still trying not to give it up. He would like to win this. But the high star is starting to fall off. And Williams clears him. And takes the lead in the 29. There's the gap back to Brody Banter and the rest of the pack. that just cannot run him down. Osborne's making a run back to the inside. He's trying to poke under him. I don't think he's going to be able to make the move. But coming to the line. The all-star showcase open belongs to Justin Williams. He will win. And Joshua Osborne will finish second. Those two are advancing to the all-star race. 29 being the dominant car in this race, and 81 with great strategy coming down pit road and making up ground. Gets them both into this season's Mopar Nationwide Series All-Star Showcase. The rest of those two drivers. Tough break for Brody Vanta and these other guys. Richard Johnson, he wasn't even up toward the front all race. He's up in a finish in fourth, but just a little too late and a couple spots short. And these guys will have to wait and see what happens to the fan vote, as only one driver will win that, and these all these other drivers will have to Hold their breath and see who exactly got it. There was a lot of drivers. There was Zohar Munn. We didn't even talk about him. Sean Galligan. I forgot about him and Chris Dollarge. And those are a couple guys I know I didn't even mention. They didn't even finish anywhere near the front. But that is it. And there's your results. So a clean and green race we had today. A couple of rookies and Justin Williams and Joshua Osborne advancing to the Mopar Nationwide Series All-Star Showcase. Congrats to those two drivers and the other 22 drivers will have to wait and see what happens with the fan vote. 
that will be at the end of the video revealing who exactly won but that's about all I had to say for this race guys so thanks for watching and stay tuned for the nationwide series showcase coming up very soon with all the drivers that have qualified in and the fan vote winner will be revealed in the ending of this video so thanks again guys for watching and stay tuned for all-star weekend here on the Dylan Tate 22 channel